So Blender 4.0 came out a couple of days ago and everybody has been talking about the new features and stuff. So I'm not going to do that because it's just more of the same. Instead, to prepare for the arrival of Blender 4.0, I've been cooking up this new update for World Blender Pro. So today let me walk you through all the new features of World Blender Pro, alright? The first thing you might notice is the new preset category and in here we have four single mountains. So let me just show you one of these presets, just drop it right into your scene and wait a bit. The erosion node is going to take some time to run, so yeah, it's going to freeze Blender for a while. There we go. Alright, this mountain is very big. It's uh, 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers. So we need to configure the viewport a bit in order to see it properly. So increase the clip end to 10,000 and clip start to 0 0.1. There we go. And before we try to render, let's change to cycles because the material of this mountain uses a lot of procedural textures. So EV is going to be extremely slow. So anyway, let's run the render. And currently there's no light, so we need to set up some light for the scene. And that is where this next note come into play. That is the artistic sky texture note. So let's split the view and go to material editor and go to world shader editor, right? And uh, let's drop in the artistic sky texture and connect it to the background like so. All right, this artistic sky is not basically correct because uh, Blender already has a physically correct sky texture, which is uh, this Nazita sky texture here. So if you want a physical, physically correct sky, you can use this texture. But if you want some artistic control over your sky, then you can use this note instead. Okay. So currently it's uh, 15 degrees, which is early in the morning. And uh, you can increase the intensity of the sky like this. Increase it to 5. There we go. It's a little too much blue and you can change the color of the sky as well. Like so. There we go. So you see, you can control a lot of different aspects of the sky. Unfortunately, this is a bunch of nodes, so it's not as optimized as the built-in physical sky texture here. But it's uh, not that much of a big deal because you can always turn on this uh, denoiser and uh, denoise the fireflies away like that. Currently, we cannot edit this because uh, I use the um, link setting, so when I drop in the mountain, it's linked into this scene, so I can't edit the parameters here. So in order to edit the parameters here, let's first turn off the modifier and go here and click on this chain icon here. There we go, and get rid of the asset mark. Okay, now we can edit this uh, modifier. So let's increase the, the viewport reduction to one. So we have a 1024 by 1024 resolution and turn on the modifier again. And this time it's going to take a longer time to run. So I'm going to pause the uh, recording and resume once it's done. All right, the landscape is finished. And as you can see, we have a lot more details here. And you can actually increase this resolution to get even more details, but um, it's gonna consume a lot of memory. So I'm just gonna leave it as 1024 by 1024. So as you may have noticed, the erosion is a lot more realistic and it produces a lot more details compared to the previous version, right? And that is because this particular mountain is using the new erosion node, the erosion 2 node. So let me just uh, increase the size of the thumbnail and right out of the box you can see that this is a lot more realistic than the old erosion model, which is this one, okay? However, the old erosion model is still usable. It's actually better for small landscape in the 100 meters kind of size. And the new erosion model is better for very big landscape like 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers. Alright, let me show you the new erosion node. 
here. As you can see, the new erosion model has separated dirt and debris channels. The erosion 1 model kind of have the dirt and the debris in the same channel called debris, but uh, for the new erosion model, the dirt and debris are separated. So you see we have a lot better looking texture here. You can see the debris kind of stack underneath the mountain, while the dirt kind of flow all over the place. But uh, this Erosion 2 node is uh, quite a bit to explain, so I'm going to do that in another video. For now, let's move on to the next new features of World Blender Pro, and that is the three new shaders, the Quick Debris, Quick Dirt, and Quick Rock. So in order to demonstrate these, I'll just reduce the resolution of this uh, landscape to, uh, let's say, 256 which means it's going to be 25% and go to the material currently the data is still linking so we need to uh, make the data local as well so go to this data tab and click on this chain icon all right now we can create a new material for this and this time we will call it new land there we go and in the modifier tab we can select the new land material for the landscape and turn it back on and let's wait for the modifier to run okay let's go to the shader editor and go to the object editor I mean object shader editor right and uh, let's delete the principal and drop in the three quick rock quick dirt and quick debris and let's mix them together like this all right and next we can go to the utility category and drop in the uh, landscape data node and connect the debris output to this mix node and the dirt output to this mix node okay so right out of the box we have some very decent kind of uh, material so let's zoom in a little and uh, you see the debris is uh, kind of like broken rocks falling down the cliff while the dirt is like uh, the rocks that were eroded into fine grains and then have uh, grass that grows on it. And one more thing, all three of these uh, shaders automatically make use of uh, these data channels. All right. So you just need to drop the texture, I mean the shader in and you can see it automatically generate a very nice texture for you. And you can play around with these uh, settings to improve the texture even more. And in the case that uh, you want to use a custom map for your shader, you can put them in here. Then uh, the, the node will use the input here instead of these uh, uh, default data channels. Okay, so these are the new features of World Blender Pro. If you have uh, bought World Blended Pro before, then you can go to where you bought it and download the new update for free. And if you haven't bought it yet, then you can go to my Gumroad or my Blender Market and buy the latest version of World Blender Pro. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.